The LEGO EV3 has its own little operating system called firmware. Periodically, LEGO updates this firmware. To be able to use Microsoft's make code, this firmware needs to be version 1.1 or greater. We need to check the version of firmware on our EV3. Start up our EV3. When the light is green, check which menu item is being used. Press the right hand EV3 button. The menu indication will move one item to the right. Press the right hand button again. The screen will look like this. Press the right hand button again and we will reach the EV3's tool menu. Note that volume is selected. Press the down EV3 button. Sleep is selected. Press the down EV3 button. Bluetooth is selected. Press the down EV3 button. Wi-Fi is selected. Press the down EV3 button. Now if you see Brick Info selected, you have an older version of the firmware and you should ignore the next step. If you do not see Brick Info and see Brick Name selected, you need to press the EV3 button again and you will now see Brick Info selected. Press the middle EV3 button and you will see the Brick Info menu page. You will see that my EV3 is using version 1.09e of LEGO's EV3 firmware. I need to upgrade this before I can use Microsoft's make code. To upgrade the firmware on our EV3, we need to connect our EV3 to our computer. We do this by using a cable like this. The cable has two ends. It has a flat rectangular end, which looks like this, and a smaller end that looks like this. The larger flat end will go into the edge of your laptop and you may have slots in the side of your laptop which look like these. Now there are two flat rectangular ones here. That is an HDMI slot. That is not what we need. This is the rectangular one we need. Sometimes they're labelled um, USB. Usually not. We can plug that in there. And so that's got it nicely. We've got to now look for a hole in our EV3 robot that matches these. At one end of our EV3 robot we have these four connectors. They're not what we need. They're the wrong shape. Look at the other end and we'll find here one labelled PC which is perfect. There's a long side and a short side to the connector as you can see. The long side goes towards the screen side of the robot. Okay so we've plugged that in and there we have a connection between our laptop and our EV3 robot. But what happens if you have a laptop that does not have a USB connection like this? Apple computers in particular have used a lot of different connections with their laptops. This reference may help you decide what sort of connector slots you have in your Apple laptop. Go to your local computer shop, tell them the type of computer you own, and tell them you want to buy a cable that will connect from your computer to the mini USB port that is on your LEGO EV3. After you have that cable, Connect your EV3 to your computer in the same way that we have just shown you. To update our LEGO Mindstorms EV3, we'll double click on a browser. Um, I'm using Google Chrome. You've noticed that we've opened up to this web address, ev3manager.education.lego.com. We've got the brick version 1.09e updating will take some time so we need at least two bars on our battery you can see that we have these you can also check the battery on your robot itself and we can click on update the firmware now we do have at least two bars at the moment I can look at 
my EV3 and I've got three so we can now update now okay and we wait ah and finally about four minutes later our, our EV3 is updated we can now click on done and close down our Chrome browser Now, if we look at our EV3 brick, you can see that the firmware has been updated to version 1.10e. And this means that our LEGO EV3 brick is now suitable for use with Microsoft's MakeCode. Good work.